Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Thanks for tuning in again. And over today we're going to be putting in the headrest for neck support, extra neck support. I found that the Type R seats pushed me forward a little bit. I wasn't able to lean back properly to rest my neck and my head, so I figured I'd buy these headrests. I'll, I'll show you how they look. They look kind of cheesy, but let me know what you think. Type in the type down below on your opinions on this. <laughs> You'll see. There's one. Here's the other. All right, so these are replica, not even replica, these are just completely fake bride seat headrests. So, yep, I know what you're thinking. Why is this guy buying fake bride headrests for his Civic Type R? <laughs> you know what, I thought uh, it would match the seat. It had the logo that, uh, I don't know, I think, I think it looks pretty cool, but yeah, it's completely fake. Anyways, I think the only other option was either Bride or Recaro, so I just chose Bride. These are cheap. The reason why I picked these is also because it has the clips in the back, so we can go through the seat back holes for the seat belts. So we'll give it a shot, see how it feels. Otherwise, the other ones that I've seen online, they just have a solid strap with no clip in the back. So I had to choose this specific type of headrest. The print, I could have chose any print I wanted, but to get it red and to get the bride word, it was either this or Recaro. So I chose bride. Um, we'll see how it looks. So you all saw my backrest as well in the other video that will help with lumbar support and this would hopefully cover the straps of that seat rest and go right there and that will give me a bit more neck support slide the straps through and this one as well There is the headrest installed. Looks all right. We'll give it a try in the front seat. I'll show you how it looks in the back. From behind, you'll see my strap for my seat as well as the strap for the, this is for the uh, headrest. This is for the seat back cushion. So if I tighten this a bit more, then we can cover it up and it'll look like just one strap. Um, but we'll leave it like that for now and then we'll try the headrest cushion first. So just initially sitting in it, the seat headrest is a little bit low. So I would like to have it up here for better neck support. And then uh, it won't hide the straps like I thought it would. So it has to sit up here. But it looks all right. You see the bride word, you still see the Type R embroidery in the headrest. Um, but this is the probably the, the best position. The headrest is a little bit hard itself. It's not as soft as the seat back cushion that I bought or the Type R seats itself. But it will provide some decent neck support now. And I feel that my... My neck is not, uh, my head is not being pushed forward anymore. I feel that I can just lean on this headrest and just relax while driving. So I think that this is a good addition. Uh, I bought it because of the, uh, again, the clips for the strap and also for it being red to match the seats. Um, and 
I think it looks alright. We'll try it out and we'll see how it goes. So I'll install the uh, passenger side as well. Alright. There you go. It'll probably sit up here to be the most comfortable position for the passenger. And it does block out the whole holes for the seat belt but it'll provide more comfort for the passenger side as well and this is how it looks in the back so you have your strap the type r word is still visible which is nice um, but overall it looks all right matches with the seat passenger side does not have the seat cushion and the reason why is because I just want to try out this first seat cushion before I bought the second one. I'll give it a try to see if I like it or not as well. And if I do, then I'll buy one for the passenger side as well. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope you liked the video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Take care. Bye now.